So let's look at Article 6, Paragraph 1, which is the right of the state of source to tax income from immovable property. So what this article reads is that income derived by a resident of a contracting state. So let's say there are two states, state R and state S. There is an immovable property which is situated in state S and a non-resident who is a resident of state R derives certain income from immovable property. So the condition is that he should get the income from immovable property. Now what is immovable property that we're going to discuss in a short while from now? Including income from agriculture or forestry. So what can happen here is uh, there may be an immovable property in the store source state and there could be some agricultural produce which might be there on such immovable property. When this agricultural produce is sold, even the income from that will be taxable under Article 6 or forestry situated in that other contracting state. Now, this is important. What this means is that before the right to tax to, can be invoked by state S, they have to ensure that the immovable property is situated in this contracting state. If the immovable property is there in a third state or in the state of residence, then state of source does not have any right to tax such income from immovable property, at least under Article 6. There may be cases where, uh, you know, there could be, a, let's say, a PE of the non-resident, which is doing the job of acquiring, selling, renting and doing these properties. So if there's an income that that PE, which is situated in state of source, derives from an immovable property in the third state, that may be taxable here, but definitely that is not going to get taxed under Article 6. May be taxed in that other state. Now the use of the word maybe indicates that the state of source or the state where the immovable property is situated does not have an exclusive right to tax the income arising from such immovable property. There's no exclusive right which is given to the state of source to tax such income from immovable. One of the other things which I would like to mention here is that it is not only income from agriculture or forestry, but if there are certain other ancillary income which are integrally related to agriculture and forestry, even those are something which will get taxed under Article 6. So, for example, suppose, you know, uh, carrying out the forestry activity requires a certificate from the government in the source state. And this is obtained by the non-resident. But later on, they sell this certificate. Even the income that arises from selling of such certificate will be considered as income from forestry and therefore will be covered within the provisions of Article 6, Paragraph 1.